Hey guys, my name is Noah. I'm here at the Pittsburgh Zoo and Peep G Aquarium. I'm here with one of our keepers, Keisha, today. And we're here to talk about some red kangaroos. How are you doing today, Keisha? I'm doing good, how are you? Pretty good. Good. Uh, so our first question is, uh, where are kang red kangaroos uh, native to? Australia. Awesome. Reds are pretty much central Australia, but Australia. Great, yes. classic. Uh, what, what are their behaviors like? Um, kangaroos are grazers. So you'll see them rooting around in grasses. And actually right here, they have some bamboo, which is a grass. And um, they like to get roots of plants as well. Kangaroos are active the most at dusk and dawn. So during the day, they like to lounge and sleep um, because that's the hottest part of the day. Right. So they're the most active um, when the sun is rising and setting. Great. Besides this, what are their diets like? <laughs> um, well, the diet here, they get, they, we actually get a kangaroo type of pre-made biscuit. It looks like um, almost like dog food, nice. but it's made, <laughs> it's made just for kangaroos. And um, we also give them um, lettuce. One of their favorite things in ways for training is um, raisins. Um, they like craisins as well. They get apples, sweet potato, um, carrots, so vegetables, fruits, stuff like that. Sounds good. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, can you tell us some more about the red kangaroos we have here at the zoo? Over here, we have our two-year-old Eliza, and she's one of our newest kangaroos. She's um, She just came to the Pittsburgh Zoo within the last year, and this is her first time that, that that should be out for summer. Same with, oh, we have over here, we have Aggie. Aggie's our seven-year-old, and she's been here for at least the last five years. And then way over there under the tree, we have Yogi. And she is our baby. She's the only one. Uh, she will be two in August. So she's the smallest and she's growing and learning. And because we got them over the winter, they haven't been able to you know, get used to the comfort with their yard just yet. So our visitors this summer will actually be the first people seeing them actually out on exhibit and them getting used to their new surroundings. Great, what kind of enrichments do you usually do for them? Well, one thing which I have right over here, we give them browse. Um, this is bamboo, it's a grass. Kangaroos like to eat grasses. So that is one of their favorites. Um, we also give them lots of toys. Um, we have puzzle feeders to give them ways to have to work for their food. Because since they're zoo animals, everything's given to them. But we, we want to keep their minds active. Um, so we do a lot of training. Um, but one of the cool toys they have, we have these giant pinwheels. Oh. that will stick in the ground and when the wind blows they'll move the kangaroos love just smacking them with their hands and knocking them down that sounds like a lot so, of yeah. fun are there <laughs> any other interesting facts about red kangaroos you want to share to end the video with yeah sure um one really neat thing about our exhibit here everybody always wonders why can't they hop out because um, kangaroos can hop up to nine feet so the reason our girls can't get out of our exhibit is because they can't get enough speed to get that height up to actually get out of the yard Nice. Well, thank you so much for that, Keisha. You're welcome. We learned a lot of great information from Keisha today. While red kangaroos are listed as least concern on the IUCN red list, we can still do our part to help protect wildlife. Be sure to check out our Save the Planet tips on social media this week, and our video later this afternoon, we'll be talking all about red pandas. See you soon.